So what are snapshot queries and why is it good that they're dead? I like to use the analogy of snapshot queries and the technology that we have to the Mybridge experiments in the late 1800s. Uh, Mybridge was a photographer and he was hired by Leland Stanford right here in Palo Alto um, to settle a bet that horses do indeed leave the ground when they run. Um, now, the way that he did this was he set up a series of cameras, 27 inches apart, uh, and uh, projects the images, as you can see here, four inches in height. And you can see indeed that based on those snapshots that the horse actually does leave the ground. Um, now that's cool, and snapshots are really useful, um, but what he really stumbled across was the, what really predates motion picture technology. So um, now you can see, if you string those movies, uh, those, those snapshot images together, you know, the motion happened. And this is what we've uh, invented with continuous queries here at TIPCO. Um, now you can see technologically the motion, the relationships, um, the momentum, the correlation with historical information, you can do that all in uh, a platform that lets you evaluate information visually and it's data that you're looking at. It's kind of like watching a motion picture and that's a revolutionary breakthrough in data management technology. So continuous queries sound cool, but how do they work? Continuous query processing is a technique in Spotfire 10 that lets the computer ask and answer questions about data as it's moving kind of like the way your brain processes images in a movie. Um, so here's an example of one of those continuous queries. Uh, we are asking the question of which oil wells among many that I'm monitoring are showing signs of failure. Um, so the first thing that we get here is a snapshot, right? So this is the uh, one of the snapshots in a, think of it as a movie, and it shows the, the wells that are currently showing signs of failure. But here's where the magic happens. Like your brain, the continuous query processor constantly looks at every change, incremental change in the data, and updates the result set. So for example, values might change, showing that a well is showing a, a bad, uh, no, incre an increase uh, in the chance of failure, or a new well, is detected as having a sign of failure, or maybe somebody makes a change and fixes the well and then that result set is reduced again. So this whole processing chain is continuous live and to the end user, they're just seeing the live results changing interactively, but they're able to process how things are getting better or worse or, or more urgent or less urgent. So that's the magic of the continuous query processing model. You can ask and answer questions not only about what's happening now with a snapshot, but you can see what's happening as time evolves, as momentum changes, as conditions changes, things get better or worse. And that's the key to managing a digital business.